Here are eight free airdrops that you don't want to miss out on because, well, they're free and they have potential to make you hundreds of dollars just for spending a little bit of time. As always, if you want to know about every single airdrop that we're farming right now, you can go over to my private membership group at mattscrypto.com and get my full airdrop guide spreadsheet. You can see right here, all these green ones are the ones that have already happened in 2024. And our total is up to $15,853 of profit just from doing airdrops this year so far. There are over 60 different airdrops on this spreadsheet, so if you want access to this for just a dollar a day, it's over at mattscrypto.com. And if you're watching this video, just this video, if you put in the code airdrop, I will give you an extra week for free on your membership. So check it out, mattscrypto.com. The first airdrop that is totally free is called Cookie3. This one is a social farming airdrop and most of these are social farming airdrops. That's how they have the ability to be free in the first place. This is the Cookie 3 dashboard and this is specific to KOLs, meaning that if you have over 1,000 followers on Twitter, you can get access to this KOL side of the airdrop. And you can see right here, if you invite other KOLs, other key opinion leaders, which is basically people on Twitter, again, with over 1,000 followers, you can get access to even more points. So I currently have 221,000 points. And the way you can earn points is by inviting other key opinion leaders, connecting your wallet, and following Cookie3 on Twitter. If we go over here to my invites, we can see that I've currently invited 12 people, and currently I have no new invites. I have to wait another day and 18 hours to get five more invites, so if you're watching this video, by the time I put it out, you should be able to get in with the invites down below. But the unique thing about this one is you can only use each invite code one time. So first come, first serve. If you wanna get in on this and you have over a thousand Twitter followers, make sure you click the link down below and join my squad. The sooner you do, the better because you instantly earn points for all the time you're in this project and then anyone else you invite, you also earn a portion of their points. So this is the KOL side of this project, but there is also a community side of this project. You can see right here, you can win free allocation of the cookie airdrop token by being part of this community side of things as well. And the beauty with this one is that we actually are number eight overall on the leaderboards right now, which is incredible. This means if we can get to top five, we're gonna get allocation for free for the community. You can see right here, the top 10 will get an additional cookie allocation and the top five will get allocation free for their community. Meaning that if you guys go ahead and use the referral link down below and we can get the top five by the end of this contest, all the people in my private membership group and hopefully even some of you guys here on YouTube will actually get part of this free allocation for the community, meaning that I'll be able to give you some of my cookie airdrop totally for free just because we're top five on the leaderboard. But if none of this replies to you and you're not a key opinion leader, you don't have a thousand followers on Twitter and you don't care about helping us get to the top of the leaderboard, that's fine too. You can go over to the link down below that's also gonna bring you to this page. This is the community page. This is for anyone who wants to participate. Basically, there are different quests you can do alongside the social farming. In other words, tweeting out dollar sign cookie on Twitter is one way to earn these. But you can also go over here and do these challenges. The first one is called bake a cookie. And if we click on the view details, it opens up a page here that has five different tiers. If we click on check eligibility, you can see tier one and tier two we've already claimed. And then tier three requirement is gonna to be to join the Discord and have the cookie monster role in the Discord. The tier four requirement is to join their Telegram community and the tier five is to do a quiz about cookie. The cookie quiz is only four questions long. It's very easy. If you just read their Twitter bio, you'll be able to answer pretty much all of them. Even the light paper will help you answer some of those questions if you do the quiz. So that's five tiers and each tier you're gonna get a certain amount of XP. You can see on tier two, you get 200 XP all the way up to tier five where you're gonna get 500 XP for finishing that quiz. Once you've completed these tiers, you'll click check eligibility and it will check to see which ones you've completed. And if you've completed all of them, you'll get to see the tier five badge will be airdropped to you within 24 hours. So we're gonna have to wait, but you can see there's 104,000 people who have already done this bake a cookie, this very first quest on the cookie community rewards. Then the other main way to farm this airdrop is over here with the land the moon, which is simply going to be seven different tiers of Twitter impressions. So to earn these impressions, you need to actually tag cookie3.com or the cookie tag. 
Um, I do think you should use both of them just to be safe because I'm not sure exactly how their uh, bots are tracking this, but they also don't want you to spam and they have anti-bot and anti-AI verification in place. So far, I haven't been able to get to this 10,000 impressions yet. I've checked it a couple times and I guess I'm just not quite there yet. So this is the social farming aspect of it and you'll have to come over here and actually check eligibility to go ahead and claim those XP points. You can see tier one is 500 XP all the way down to tier seven, which is 100,000 XP if you can get a million impressions on Twitter. So you wanna social farm this by tweeting it out and then you wanna come back to this main landing page, this cookie bakery is what they're calling it, to get cookie airdrop points by completing these different quests. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see there's also special missions. There's quest on campaign, galaxy campaign, and Zeely campaign. Unfortunately, I haven't done any of these and I think it's too late to do them now. You can actually go ahead and claim them now if you have finished them. But if you go and click eligibility here and connect your wallet, you're gonna see that I unfortunately did not meet the criteria for the Galaxy claim or these other ones. But if you have for some reason, definitely go and claim your XP over here. Now, like most airdrops, there is a referral system. You can go to referrals and invite your friends to earn more. You can see right here on this side of things, the cookie community, I've actually only invited five people so far uh, and those people have invited two more people, but you can see they have a level system here. When you invite people, you're going to earn 16% of their points. When they invite people, they're going to earn 8% of those points. And when your invites invite people and those invites invite people, you'll earn 4% of those people as well. So again, this is the cookie bakery where anyone with any following size can do quests, you can farm on social, and you can refer friends to earn more points towards this cookie airdrop. Whether you are someone who has a thousand followers or zero followers, it doesn't matter. Use my referral link down below because if you do, you're gonna be part of my squad. And if we do get top five and I get an extra allocation for my community, I will make sure to be sharing that with you guys who have joined. The second free crypto airdrop is Param Labs. And this one is a much simpler dashboard, trust me. All of it is right here and it's gonna be the same thing. It's a social farming airdrop. These are Param points, and the more points we get, the more Param coins we'll get when the token generation event happens and we get our airdrop tokens. So you can see I've referred 320 people, so one of the ways is to refer people. If you make an account, link down below to use my referral link, then you're gonna get your own referral code, you'll click refer a friend. You're gonna get 50 points for every friend you refer, and then if they refer anyone, you're gonna get an additional 15 points. So basically every friend you refer, you can get up to 65 points towards this airdrop. Then the other way is to go ahead and tweet about Param with Param Laboratory or dollar sign Param over on Twitter. Like, retweet, quote tweet, comment, posts, all the goodies that we know and love about social farming. It's straightforward right here. The third way to get Param points for the Param airdrop is to do all these tasks over here. You can see I've done most of them, but there's three new ones today. Task 14 is to like this post. We'll click on it. We'll click execute X to go over to the post on X. We'll go ahead and like it, and you can see they have a absolute ton of engagement on Param. This is a project that even though the UI doesn't look that great in my opinion, look at the amount of 3.7 million views, and this is from yesterday, 177,000 reposts. Absolutely crazy. We'll go ahead and put Param on here as well, just so we can get those social farming points, and then we'll come back over to the dashboard and we'll click collect reward. And there we go, we got 150 points just for doing those quests. So I recommend doing those every day, make sure there's any new ones, go ahead and do them. Refer your friends, tweet about it, same as most of these airdrops, just farming it socially is how you're gonna get the most points. The third crypto airdrop is a bit different than the other ones on this list, and I think you're really gonna like this one if you get overwhelmed with how many airdrops there are, or if you just don't have a lot of time in the day, if you have a full-time job, this might be for you. This is Farmbase Pro, and it's a automated crypto airdrop farming bot. I've actually used this quite a bit for the last 55 days or so, and essentially what you need to do is you can make a free wallet, free account, so it's totally free to use, and all you need to do is go over and deposit ETH that you're gonna use to farm these airdrops. Now, the one I do most is base or Coinbase's layer two, because if that airdrop happens, it could be absolutely massive in fact, I think it might be the biggest airdrop of all time if it happens. So let's do an example here. If you go ahead and deposit half an ETH, right, you'll get that ETH back. It's not gonna be a payment. It's just what we deposit to farm the airdrop. Then if we farmed it for, let's say, six months, right, into the summer, and we do a transaction every 30 days. 
you can see we'd have a total of six transactions for about $10,000 and the fees would cost us $4. So technically it's not free because there is transaction fees, but we'd actually get back 0.499 ETH. So basically all the amount we put in, we'd get back. And the kicker here is that we'd have a potentially $1,700 airdrop from using a free wallet. So if we subtract the $4, we'd have just under $1,700 in profit from that one wallet. Now, if we decided to go ahead and do a premium wallet, which I have six premium wallets going right now, and there's a reason for that, because with the premium wallet, you can actually go and do transactions every five days. That's how quickly you can have the bot do it automated. If we go ahead and drag that up for, let's just say eight months and do it towards the end of the year, right? We farm for the rest of the year. We're gonna have 64 transactions, over $100,000 in volume. We will end up spending a bit more in transaction fees because we have a lot more transactions, so $38. And we can see here that we'd have $5,487 of profit per wallet, per wallet. And that's just for the base airdrop. Farmbase can actually do four different airdrop farming systems at once. Let me show you. This is my Farmbase dashboard where we can see all of the wallets that I have. We scroll down, we can see that I have five premium wallets and one free wallet down here. Basically, over the last 50 days or so, I've done $12,000 of volume, over 111 transactions on the base network. And if we click the drop down right here, we can see there's also Solana, Scroll, and Linea. I also have some Solana wallets going. I have three Solana wallets that have done 14 transactions and about $2,000 worth of volume. So how this works is if you go ahead and buy a premium wallet, which for base and linea and scroll is $25 per month, you'll be able to go ahead and fund your wallet. I put 0.1 ETH, very small amount of ETH in each wallet. And if we click on view, we can see what's happening in this wallet. I currently have just under the amount I put in in the base account. And it's because I've spent some money on transaction fees. There's been 21 transactions on this wallet. And because it's a premium wallet, I've set it to do it every five days. So I get the maximum amount of transactions without it being suspicious and getting disqualified from a potential airdrop. You can see this wallet's 43 days old. And if we scroll down here, we can see all the farming history. These are all the transactions, the swaps, the deposits, the liquidity providing, all the stuff that that's done without me touching anything. I literally put 0.1 ETH in to this wallet and clicked start farming. And it's been farming it ever since. Every five days, you can see roughly every five days, it will do various transactions on different protocols. And these are all on the base network. And the reason we're doing all these transactions is to have network activity so that if base does do an airdrop and gives all of its previous users base tokens just for using the network, we will have a ton of on-chain activity to show that we deserve to get a lot of base tokens. Now that's just one wallet. I have five of those premium wallets and one free wallet. Now you can see with the free wallet here, I only have $950 of volume. And that's because we can only set this to every 10 days because every five Five days is a premium feature. So if you want to have a premium wallet that can farm extra hard, you do need to pay for a premium wallet. But because this video is a zero cost video, you can make up to 10 free wallets on Farmbase for each of these different chains you want to farm on. So for Solana, for example, I do have three paid wallets and I don't have any free wallets for Solana, but I probably should make some because why not? The only thing that's a little bit different with Solana is you have to supply three Solana per wallet to farm with. And that's a little bit more expensive than base where you only have to put in 0.1 ETH minimum to farm on that farming balance. So personally, I do think it's totally worth paying $25 a month and it's only $15 a month on Solana to have a premium wallet because you can get that five day activity and it's really gonna add up a lot more volume and that subscription price will well pay for itself once we get these airdrops. But if you wanted to try just a free wallet to start, you can click create wallet and you can see here that the difference between a premium wallet other than the five day frequency is that the premium wallets get 100% of the airdrop. So whatever the wallet farms, you'll get 100% of that airdrop claim. If you use a free wallet, you only get 75% of the airdrop. Farmbase is gonna keep 25% of it in order to pay themselves back for providing this service. So you won't get the full airdrop amount, you'll only get 75% of it. You can also see right here the difference between premium and free. Premium has unlimited wallets. You can export the private key if you want to. You can import your own wallet if you want to. The biggest thing for me is unlimited farming volume and farming frequency. This is a really big deal if you wanna really maximize your output for the airdrops. 
And then the other obvious main thing is you're gonna lose 25% of whatever airdrop value you get if you use a free wallet versus a premium one. So that's definitely a higher output, but it does cost money. So for the sake of this video, using the free one is really quite good still. It's just, you are gonna have some limitations. To create a free wallet, you'll have to go over to the link down below, then sign in with your wallets. You can use MetaMask or whatever wallet you prefer. Then we'll click create wallets. We'll click free and we'll click create free wallets. And that is it, it is that simple. You can see here I now have two other free wallets because I did this once before. You can see the status is not ready and that's because we haven't actually supplied any money into the wallet yet. So in order for it to start farming, you need to actually deposit 0.01 ETH on ETH mainnet or base net from a centralized exchange. It's important to note when you are funding these, make sure you send it from an, a centralized exchange like Kraken, Coinbase, or Binance right to this wallet and not all from another wallet like a MetaMask wallet. I would also recommend if you can use Coinbase because you can send on the base network directly to the base network here in this wallet for free instead of having to bridge the funds, which will cost you money. Okay, that is Farmbase in a nutshell. If you wanna know more about Farmbase, I made a full breakdown video right up here you can check out. It's a lot to digest, but essentially this is a automated way to airdrop farm for some of these big airdrops. These, I'll give you a spoiler, these are some of the highest rated airdrops on my airdrop spreadsheet. So if you wanna get these and have to not even worry about them and do them for free even, definitely check it out with the link down below. The next free crypto airdrop is called Get Grass, and this one's quite different than all the other ones on this video. This one is a AI training program. So what it's going to do is utilize your unused internet bandwidth to help train a massive AI computer. It sounds ridiculous, it sounds crazy, and you can look more into it if you want, but I have been using this for the past three weeks now, and it hasn't affected my bandwidth whatsoever. Obviously, I've been uploading videos like crazy, and, and so far, there's been no issues with it. It's very simple. It's basically just a Chrome extension that you're gonna install on your Chrome browser, and it's gonna allow you to earn grass points, which eventually will be converted into grass tokens for the airdrop when that happens. You can see right here, everything you need to do on this page. You will earn, you can refer your friends and grow your earnings even more, and you literally just keep it running in the background by keeping it in your Chrome extension, and that is it. You can go on the dashboard and track it anytime you want, but as long as you have an internet connection, it's going to be farming for you in the background. So what you'll do to sign up is go over to the link down below, you'll click download grass. It'll then bring you to the Chrome extension page and you will click to install to Chrome. Then it should pop up right over here in your Chrome extensions. If you don't see it, you can click on this little puzzle button here and it'll pop up on the dropdown list. Or you can go to the sign up page right here and you'll have to go and put in your email, your username and a password. It should automatically put our referral code in there and then you'll click register. Once you've signed in, you'll get here to your dashboard. You can see your earnings. There's gonna be different epochs, which is basically just periods of time. Usually it's about one month and how many grass tokens you've earned in that epoch. Today's earnings is gonna be right here and it's gonna show you whether or not you're connected right up here. And then down here, it's gonna show you all the networks you've connected to on this account and whether or not those connections are strong and how many points you've earned from each of those connections. On the left side here, you can click referral program and it's gonna show you all of the referrals that you have. Currently we have 1,505 pending referrals and these are basically people that haven't had 100 hours of uptime yet. Referrals over here are people that have reached 100 hours of uptime. And uptime simply means that you're logged in on your account and you have it installed in your Chrome extension. It's gonna automatically run in the background. You're not gonna even notice that it's there. And what I've noticed so far out of the 1,500 people who have signed up, only 64 are referred, probably because they have made a bunch of major upgrades to the actual infrastructure of this project, and it's required you to log back in on your extension up here many times. So every once in a while, if you wanna check in on your dashboard and see if you're earning and you find that you're not, you might need to log back into your account to reconnect to the Grass extension and allow it to keep accumulating points for you. They also have a ranking system here for how many people you refer or how many points you get. So if you can refer your friends, I highly recommend doing it. Obviously it does help. I have gotten um, almost up to the 50,000 point bonus here just by referring people. So I would highly recommend referring people if you can and if you want to. The next token is Overtrip, and this is the trip token which will be used in game for the Battle Royale game Overtrip. It is a lot like Fortnite, and this one again is like our other ones where it's a social farming airdrop. What you need to do is go over to this dashboard here, and you're gonna be able to complete missions, which are basically interactions with Twitter, 
with Discord, with liking, retweeting, watching trailers on YouTube. You can see I've completed all these, but these will all be available to you when you sign in. Season zero actually just ended yesterday. Didn't realize that was gonna happen so quickly, but we are now on season one and the points have gone up significantly. So definitely recommend checking out this one, doing the missions, and then you can also go over to invite here and you can refer your friends for additional points. My ref code right here is KA6UM4 but I'll leave a link down below like I do for all these. So it's much easier just to click on the link and you'll automatically get that referral bonus. I have invited 81 people so far and uh, you can see that I'm getting a 1% kickback. So I get 1% of all the points that my referrals earn. And if you get up to 300 invites, you can get up to 3% of all the points your invites earn as well. The other two ways to get points for this besides invites and missions are to have an NFT and to soft stake it. You get 48 points per day for soft staking the NFT, which is basically the equivalent of of inviting five friends because you get 10 points per friend you invite. So that's definitely worth doing. And then it's also worth going and interacting with their main account at Playover Trip or using the dollar sign trip tag on Twitter. That will help get you some points as well. Malon Protocol is a, another free crypto airdrop that we've already talked about quite a bit. You can see right here, I just passed 400,000 mission points. Definitely recommend joining this one if you want to. With this one, you actually do have to use my referral code, but there is a bonus. You will get 200 points for using my referral code when you sign up. If you don't use a referral code, you'll get nothing. So it's definitely worth using the referral code when you sign up. It's Matt Cabuzio. Use that, check it out. But this one's very similar to the other ones. You're gonna go and complete daily missions like linking the wallet, following people on Twitter, retweeting on Twitter, liking things on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And then every day, you're gonna have a daily spin where you can spin this wheel right here and try to win extra Mon mission points. I've done this every single day for the last two months probably, and it's definitely worth doing because you are gonna get some of those 2,000 and 3,000 points sometimes, and it will add up over time. As you can see right here, I have 400,000 mission points. Those mission points are gonna add up to get you Mon tokens. You can see right here, this is the Mon Protocol by Pixelmon. I think this is gonna be probably the number one token for gaming that has a free airdrop out of all of them. I think it's gonna do the best out of all the ones we talked about today. I've talked about this in several videos so far, so do not fade this one. I really, really think this one has super high potential. Mon also already did their pre-sale and it sold out right away. You can see right here on the pre-market for the Mon token, it's currently trading at $1.89 per Mon token. I don't know how many tokens we'll get with that 400,000, but I can say that every single Mon token you get is basically $2 in your pocket. So even if you only got 100 tokens, that's $200 worth of free airdrops. This one, again, is my number one pick out of all these free gaming ones. I think this one will do the best. So definitely check this one out if you haven't yet. One other way to farm the Mon airdrop outside of Mon missions, and this one's also for free, is this Pixel Pals game. You can see it's Pixel Mon's second hyper casual game, and this one's gonna allow you to start farming Mon tokens by playing this game on a web browser. So we pop over to the game right here. This is my base. It's messy as heck. I'll scroll around for you a little bit here. You can see I've put a lot into it. If you make your own account, you're gonna realize none of this will be there. But basically this is like Farmville. If you've ever played Farmville, you have these little plots of land. You go ahead and you plant different plants in order to keep your character right here. You can see Cora's my character. She's a cat. She's level 82. You basically need to keep your pet alive. Every time you feed it plants, it gives you more time that it's alive and it can go up to three days. If you leave your pet for three days without feeding it, it will die and that's it, it's over, your game is over. So the whole point is to just grow crops, farm, in order to keep your pet alive and by farming, literally, you will farm points in this game which will convert to Mon tokens. The way you earn the Mon tokens is with this habitat value right here. You can see I have 44,862 uh, habitat value. And this is basically just the number of points, XP points more or less, for building your base. You can see right here, this is the pet points and this is basically how much I've fed my cat. Uh, these don't matter as much. These just matter for the sake of keeping your pet alive and continuing the game. But the habitat value is what's gonna convert to Mon tokens. So pumping this number as high as you possibly can will convert to some number of Mon tokens. I have no idea what the number is, but I've poured a decent amount of time in this game. My strategy right now is basically just to plant tomatoes. You can't see, but the tomatoes are 12 hours that they take to harvest. So I basically just plant them in the morning, 
and then at night before I go to bed, and it's just every morning and every night, I harvest them and replant them. Um, but it's just another way to farm this Mon token because, again, I think it's gonna be the biggest coin out of all of them. So I'm doing whatever I can, including playing little games like this. It's been kind of fun to check in on my cat. It's very simple, very straightforward, but you can check this one out as well if you want. I'll leave the link down below. Okay, free airdrop number seven. This one currently says season one ends tomorrow. Um, I'm making this video on April 10th. I don't think it'll come out on April 10th. So if you're watching this and this has already ended, I apologize. I do think there's gonna be a season two before they actually drop the airdrop. This one's another social farming airdrop. This is probably the ugliest dashboard out of all of them, but you can go down here and this is the most important part. You can click calculate and you're gonna see your estimated beyond token earnings. None of these other sites actually show you what your points are gonna to convert to or an estimate of what you might get in beyond tokens or whatever token it is. That'd be really nice because if we knew how many Mon tokens we would get, we could go back over to whale markets and see that $2 times 65, for example, in this case, 65 beyond tokens would be about $130. That'd be good to know that we have some clue of what we're getting. I don't know what these beyond tokens are worth, but I am getting about 65 of them as of right now. So this part right here is a super powerful part of this whole dashboard in my opinion. The other important parts are the leaderboard over here on the right side. You can see that Noah's got 12.7 billion points, which is probably worth a ton of beyond tokens. Referrals over here, I think these are glitched because I swear I have more than 85 referrals at this point, but who knows if you guys wanna use my custom code, it's Matt's Crypto. Uh, this one does not have referral links. You actually have to put the referral code in and you can customize your own code. So if you do go sign up for this one, Use my referral code Matt's Crypto because these referral bonuses are huge. They are multipliers. Instead of getting points, you get more multipliers per amount of friends you invite. So currently I'm at 85, which is a 45X multiplier. If you get up to 1,000 friends referred, it's a 500X multiplier. Referrals are a big part of this one. You can also get bonus multipliers. I got an influencer multiplier of 200X, which is crazy. It's based on the number of followers you have on Twitter. Not sure what the correlation is there, but you might get one as well if you have 1,000 or 2,000 followers. Quest multipliers are for the quests right down here. So every day you can come on here and do different quests. And you can see this one's 10,000 points, 3X multiplier. This one's 10,000 points, 5X x multiplier 2x multipliers so they all have different amount of points and multipliers the biggest thing on this one obviously is these multipliers really make a difference in how many points you can get so you want to maximize those as quickly as you possibly can now it's outside of these multipliers and the referrals you can also go ahead and tweet on playground posts these are the power posts right here so you can click on one of these and it's basically just going to be all of the posts that playground corp put out on their twitter you're going to want to go ahead and like comment, repost, the same as all these other ones, just social farming it as much as you can, definitely interacting with the playground posts because those seem to matter a lot more. And you can see down here, the activities track how many times you've interacted with playground posts versus how many times you've posted the beyond ticker. You can also see the stats down here. There's 568,000 people in this one and there's 348 billion total points. So our points, 9 million versus 348 billion is less than 0.1%, very small amount. I just started this yesterday, very late to this one. Don't know how much longer it'll last, but I definitely think it's worth doing because as all these are, they're free to do. They take a little bit of your time and the potential rewards can be hundreds of dollars. So it's so worth doing them even if the payout's really small. And even if you're late to the game, doesn't matter, give it a shot. Okay, the final free crypto airdrop is Bubble. This is by Imaginary Ones. This is an NFT that came out last cycle. I had an Imaginary Ones NFT. Love the team, know some of the guys on the team. I'm not affiliated, they're not paying me to do this or anything like that. In fact, they haven't even answered me when I asked if I could get uh, an Imaginary Pass, which they haven't given me. You can see I have zero here. Uh, but there you go, that's one of the ways you can get points is the Imaginary Pass. These have to be given to you or you have to have a code. You can see that they say to be active on Twitter, engage at community events. So if you have done that and you've got an imaginary pass, congrats, but you probably have to be really tuned in to get an imaginary pass to be super active and get one of those events to actually give you one. And for me personally, I just don't have enough time to be fully locked in on just one airdrop. So I have failed on this one so far, but if you really care about this bubble airdrop, you could participate in community events and probably get one. The next way, the main way is social points. I have 467,000 social points. 89,000 of those are from engagement and 300,000, which is actually the maximum amount, is from referrals. And you can see I have a 20% bonus right here. You can actually get bonuses on this tiered bonus system. The more points you get, the more bonuses you get. So at 14,000 points, you'll get a 5% bonus. All the way up to hamburger tier where you get a 25% bonus and one raffle entry for an imaginary pass at 1.5 million social points. 
I currently have cuck paid tier, so I'm getting that 20% bonus on every point that I earn, and I have a one in 100 chance of getting an imaginary pass raffle. Just like the other airdrops, you can go and complete all these different tasks. These are social tasks like following the founders of the project, retweeting, following the Twitter, following the TikTok, YouTube, all different stuff for the imaginary one's branding. Um, you can go and do all those at once, and then you can actually click on this calendar, and every single day, you can see in March there wasn't every single day, but in April, every single day there's gonna be different tweets and you can go to the tweet and then you can collect the reward. Now, the beautiful thing is if you go to their tweet, the day of it actually coming out, you'll be able to see here, there is a 2X multiplier. So for the next 15 hours of today, instead of getting 1,500 social points, we can see we got 3,000 social points because we actually went and interacted with the tweet the day of and collected the reward on that day. That'll give me two X points and you can see I've already collected 3,000 for that one. And then we get the 20% bonus on top of that. So got somewhere around 3,500 or so points just for doing that one tweet interaction. So for social farming on Bubble, tweet Bubble out, reply to all their posts, follow all their founders and check off all the tasks. And then make sure you come back daily and do the daily interaction every single day to get two X points on the social farming side of this thing. For referrals, you can also get a referral link. You can get a maximum of 30 referrals. So this one, I feel like a lot of people probably could max out if you really push your referral link to friends that haven't joined yet. You get 10,000 social points for every friend that signs up using your link. So you can use my link down below if you want, but I've already gotten 30 here, so it's not gonna give me any more points, unfortunately. So maybe you guys can post your links in the comments down below and we can all share each other's links to try to help each other out that way. The last way to earn Bubble is to go and play the Bubble Rangers game. You can see right here on the screen, there's some gameplay of the Bubble Rangers mobile game. It's on the iOS or Google Play Store. It's actually a pretty good game. It really works quite well. I haven't gotten any points yet because again, I haven't had any time to play the game because I've been making so much content for you guys, but if you do wanna connect your account, you'll go over and click connect, and then you'll sign in on the app with your imaginary ones login here so that it connects your app gameplay to your farming account on the dashboard. It also seems like they have other games coming soon that you can play as well to earn even more bubble points. And you can see the bubble points will be converted to bubble at a later date. So more towards the token generation event, that's when you'll convert your bubble points into bubble tokens, along with your social points and any imaginary passes you have. All three of these will combine into your total bubble allocation for the airdrop. Before you head out, do not forget, if you wanna get access to all the other airdrops I'm farming right now and exactly how to do them, all the information you need, Join my membership, it's matscrypto.com. It's literally $1 a day and I'm giving you guys all who use the code airdrop from this video, an extra free week of membership. There you have it. Those are eight free crypto airdrops you simply do not wanna miss. Most of these just take a little bit of your time and a little bit of effort. And I do think that each one of these could potentially be about $100 worth of free airdrop tokens. Some of these even more than that. And if you did all eight of them, you could be looking at $800 or maybe even more just from farming for a little bit for free. If for some reason you're still watching this video, first of all, give yourself a round of applause. Second of all, comment down below saying it's airdrop season. That way I'll know you're a real one and you should go watch this video before you head out. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss it.